Congratulations on your first WTA finals title. Can you reflect on your journey this week and ending up with lifting the trophy? Well, the whole journey was you know, pretty complicated with the pretty um, tough conditions at the beginning um, to, you know, feeling my game better and better every day and, um, you know, playing this tough semi-final and final, even though the scores, uh, you know, looked easy, the matches were really, really tight and every point mattered. So at the end, for sure, I felt, um, you know, that I'm really, really proud of myself, that I could handle everything physically, mentally, uh, you know, the pressure and everything that was at stake, you know. So, um, yeah, I'm just really happy that I can um, enjoy this moment and that I achieved that. And a massive win for another reason, because you now regain the year-end world number one position. How does it feel to have fought back with consistent and great tennis to earn that title again? You know, it's weird because sometimes things in life come when you don't expect them. And actually, <laughs> this is that kind of situation because um, after US Open, I kind of really was able to reset and think about uh, what actually makes me a better player, you know, and I stopped thinking about rankings and points and actually I, I started to feel a little bit more free on court. So. Um, so for sure, you know, these past tournaments showed me that this is the right way to go and um, I guess, you know, ranking and uh, points come after that. So I'm just really proud of myself that I can finish the year as world number one. And are you now looking forward to the off season and a reset before a big 2024? Yes, for sure. I'm really looking forward to vacation and not doing anything for a couple of days. Uh, but then, um, then for sure, you know, I'll dig deep into work and um, there are many things that I want to change in my game to get it better so um, so yeah right now I'll focus on vacation but for sure it's going to be an intense time. Yeah.